Sun Devils. Sparky and the gang ready and fired up for this matchup. We've got a really compelling contest here. A team that's earned a top 25 ranking heading on the road for a serious test of their poise and their mettle. As we'll see the number 12 team in the country, the Utah Utes, taking on another Big 12 team, the Arizona State Sun Devils. EA Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. will kick this away to start us off. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. They're going to run it. The junior able to bring him down quickly. They're just trying to establish the run. There's not much there, but give credit to that defensive line and those linebackers attacking the line of scrimmage to negate any chance at all. Second down after that run on the previous play. The backs got it. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. It's a draw to the back. Moves the ball out across the 30, and it's good for a first down. Boy, an opportunity missed here by this defense. They get him the third down. They load up the line of scrimmage, but they could not deny this back at coming up with that conversion. And the U starting a new series here on first and ten. Back to pass. It's rising. Receiver makes the catch. Love to see the short passing game as a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable and allows you to see how the defense is reacting. That can open up for other things later on. Offense getting set. It's second down. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. How about the discipline of this defense here on second down? You're anticipating a pass. They've got pretty much everybody covered. And then once the back has the ball, how about the speed to be able to bring him down? Now it's third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Fires it to the wide out. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. The Utes are on the move here. And here's the handoff. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Here's the second down play. They're going to run it here. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, this defense is stepping up here early in this game, really controlling the line of scrimmage. Just nowhere to go on this last play. And now we've got a third down, a big opportunity for this defense to get off the field. Here comes the eighth play of the opening drive, but now it's third down. Hand it off for a draw. Defense able to stop him. It's fourth down now. The Utes will line up to kick it away. Finally, the first one of the game, hoping to pin them back deep. 
And the punt lands out of bounds. Let's see exactly where they're spotted here. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Look him out throwing here to start the drive. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds the soft spot on the curl and picks up a first down. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Here's the handoff. Solid gain. Moves the ball to the 37. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that previous play. It's a quarterback keeper. That one moves the ball across the 40. And every single time this guy runs the option, you're kind of like holding your breath, wondering if he's going to break a tackle or get out into the open field and use his speed. He picks up some yards here, but see if this defense can keep putting pressure on him and not letting him get out into the open. Offense facing a third and short from the 41. Can they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision? The Sun Devils moving quickly down the field here. Here's a great example of a back knowing where he needed to go on this play, and he didn't mess around. He got between the tackles and earned every single yard. That run picks up first down yardage, a fresh set of downs for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Well, they don't pick up the first down here, but if you can use the quick passing game to stay ahead of the chains, it definitely helps your offense. And if that defense starts to creep up to take that away, that's when you can take a shot downfield. Now it's second down here. Gonna run it. It's Scatabo. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Important third down play coming up. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. No kick it away here. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. And the Utah offense takes the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Stop right there at the line. No game. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense. Staying in their run fits. They holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Important second down play coming up. Looking to throw. It's rising. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And they bring him down. Blocker is not much help on the screen there. He's short of the first down. But the defense is getting pressure on the quarterback. They got a little bit fooled here by the screen play. Nice positive gain for the offense. An important third down attempt for this offense. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. And he's got it. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Whew, that was pretty. The receiver broke down his defender on that curl against man-to-man -man coverage. That's how you win one-on-ones. And the Utes will line up on first and ten. Here comes the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. 
Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. The quarterback hands this off and just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Second down play coming up for this offense. There's the handoff. Tackled after a three-yard gain, so it sets up a third and seven. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. the first down but looking for more yardage brought down but it's past the line to gain man when your quarterback can run the football like this it puts so much pressure on the defense the defense coordinator spent all week preparing his unit to be able to stop this offense but when this quarterback's able to pull it down and pick up yards like that it's an extra headache for the defense to have to deal with they stop him after a six yard game so second and four it's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Getting set. There's second down. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. And stopped right there at the line of scrimmage, and that'll end the first quarter. A big play here after the break. Offense trying to convert here on third down. Back to pass. It's rising. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. And he picks up the first down, tackled at the 32. Chris, it just feels like the offense is almost teasing the defense with this play. As an offensive coordinator quarterback, you're often looking for that soft spot in the zone. And here, they do a nice job of finding that hole for a nice game. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. They'll give it to the back. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of it. And the Utes move into the red zone. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. It's a one-yard game, second and nine coming up. Becoming a long march, the 11th play coming up. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Caught behind the line. It's King. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Can he get there on the ground? And the Sun Devils fail to get a third down stop once again. Just what a great battle here at the line of scrimmage. Good push by the offensive line, and the back does enough to be able to pick up the first down. Very efficient on third down, and now it's first down and goal. Or it's snapped to the back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. I love watching these linebackers fly around, doing a good job of reading their keys. Saw the guard pulling, shot through that A-gap, was able to blow this play up. So off the loss, it's second in goal from the eight. Quarterback still with the football. And he's finally tackled out at the two-yard line. Well, I think we can all see how tough it is to control this guy in your center today for this defense, but they did a nice job of keeping him contained. But it 
Got to stay focused. They can't get lazy because we can see him breaking one any moment against this defense. Set up now with a two-yard line. Can they score here on a third down play? On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, use. Can you say methodical? A marathon march, Kirk, just pounding away and wearing down that defense. They just kept moving the sticks and moving the sticks until they got into the red zone, and they just kept moving the sticks until they got into the end zone. What a drive. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Back comes the Arizona State offense onto the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? Now begin with a quick throw to the left. Finally, they get him. A great tackle by the quarterback. Not easy with that size difference. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody. It allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end's going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get that ball out quicker to not allow that defensive end to make that play. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. From the shotgun, drops back. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. That is outstanding defense to be able to leverage this quarterback. That is a tough thing to do. This guy is as fleet-footed as any quarterback in the country, and to be able to bring him down for a loss like that is a major accomplishment. And the Sun Devils will send the punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. He'll call for the fair catch here. And the Utah offense takes the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. Well, there's just so many things happening on these read option plays, and they happen fast. This defense has done a good job of trying to prevent this quarterback from hitting the big play. He gets some yards here, but at least he didn't get out for a big game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback keeps the football. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. But it's a nice job by this defense. They saw option, actually forced the quarterback to pull the ball on the read. Then they corral him for a loss. You can tell they worked hard on that practice. Trying to success the formation. It's third down. And the quarterback keeps it here. And they'll stop him just short of the mark. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. So a field goal attempt coming up now. This will be a long-range attempt, 51 yards out. And it's good. And that will extend their lead even further. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus.
They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And here's the return from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Arizona State offense comes back on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. Ooh, how about that offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for a big game. First down here for this offense. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. And he's brought down after a big first down gain. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice gain. Love to see the big man get his touches. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Looking for a gap. It's Scatabo. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Damn, this defense continues to just be physical into line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back to throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. And they bring him down after a solid game, but it's still well short of the first down marker. Oh, the read option here. The quarterback keeps it. I thought he was going to get out and maybe take this downfield for big yards. The defense, very fortunate to keep him to a shorter gain. Offense facing third and short, approaching midfield. Can they convert here, or will they face a tough fourth down decision? There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. They get him down after a short return, but the offense will go to work from the 44. That offensive coordinator is going to have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline after that throw. You have to be more careful with the football. And the Utah offense takes the field. The last drive produced three points thanks to an excellent long-range field goal. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. And he's tackled just short of the midfield line at the 49. The game makes it second and medium. Handoff here from the shotgun. And that run produces a decent game. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. It's rising. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. The first down pickup tackled at the 45. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. The Utes getting set on first and 10. Quarterback drops back. That's caught. It's Pittman. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. That completion sets up a second down play. And he'll 
Daniel set up to throw. And it's going to be incomplete defense and a great chance for the pick. Couldn't come up with it. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Looking to throw it again. Let's it go. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. The Utes will have to punt this one away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And no chance for a return as the punch sails out of bounds. And the Arizona State offense comes back out on the field. Time is running out before halftime to cut into this now two-possession lead. He's going for a big play downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge game here. And a timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Here's the snap looking to throw. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. They finally get him down, but an explosive play. The offense in business now at the 24. Man, what a great effort by the tight end. Not only does he make the catch, but how about the effort there to break that tackle to pick up more yards? New set of downs for the offense. First and 10. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. Boy, the defense does such a good job of taking any threat downfield away. All he could do is throw it to his back and a loss of yards. Now you're behind the sticks. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? The quarterback drops back from the shotgun. With the catch, it's Smith. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Now it's third and short from the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. And he finds his tight end for the catch. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. I mean, we're not even to halftime yet, and I don't think this guy wants to take a break once we get to the half. That's his fifth catch and counting. The Sun Devils are in the red zone. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Yeah, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. And a sophomore making an impact play. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Well, that's the one thing about a guy that always feels that he can rely on his legs. He's always trying to make a play, and this time he just wasn't able to get away from the defense, and that is a big loss for the offense. Tight end makes the grab. Defense will wrap him up after an eight-yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down. Chris, this guy has a big-time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. And that kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So they settle for three here, and now the kickoff. See if the opposing offense can answer before halftime. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Utes offense takes the field. We'd expect a prudent 
decision here, backed up near their own end zone, just run the clock out and get to halftime. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. We'll kick it away to get us going in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. First down play card. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. Scrambling, now he'll make the throw. And it's complete downfield. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain and more than enough to pick up a first down. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Puck over the middle. It's Smith. They put down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. You see more and more offenses in college football going to three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out, and you can take advantage of it. That's a design quarterback keeper. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Oh, here comes the reverse. That's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. Fourth down, coming up. And the Sun Devils will bring their punt team on the field now. Running it back, it's Pittman. Turner brought down, sets up the next drive. And the Utah offense takes the field. Which offense can get it going first? This one has been a struggle so far. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Second down. Looking to pass. It's rising. Receiver makes the grab. Breaks loose at the 40. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big yards to set up a fresh set of downs. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defensive coordinator told him they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot. But I think the reality of seeing it now in person... I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense, or this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day. On first down, it's play action. He's running out of time here. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. And the Utes will line up here on first down and goal. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. They pressure him and sack him to be tackled inside the 10. I, I hate to question a play call. But that close to the goal line on first and goal and throw it. Oh, why not run the football right there? Ball back at the 10-yard line now for second and goal.
Trying for the end zone, running it right up the gut. He shows off the juking ability, but not much room to run. It's a short game. Nice job by this defense on that second down, so we now have third down and goal. The offense could be thinking about four down situation. They need to put the ball into the end zone. They don't want to settle for a field goal here. Great job of the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. He's hit right as he throws it and complete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. He was on target with his first kick. This one is from just 26 yards out. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. And they add to their lead. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Back comes the Arizona State offense onto the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? Fights through a tackle. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. You know, all week, the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback, he told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football. But man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big-time game. And the Sun Devils will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Play action here on first down. Short connection with a tight end here. He is a load to bring down. Finally, a strong tackle by the cornerback gets him. That completion makes it second and short. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. is made, but it's a big game. He'll move the ball to the 25-yard line. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you get a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Second down play coming up. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Oh, and he dropped it. Might have burned some footsteps there over the middle. And that brings up third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. Now it's third and short from the 22. You expect this is four down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Whoa, you talk about a big hit there. 
I think this guy holds on to this football at a critical third down if this linebacker doesn't lower the blow. Great timing on that hit to prevent the P.I. call and to get this Number team to fourth down. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. And he knocks it right through the uprights. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Looks like the returner will try and field this one. And they've got the returner corralled. And the Utah offense takes the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? That's reeled in. It's Parks. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid gain. You know, these kind of routes are always great for receivers who do a really good job of yards after the catch situations. And they're easy completions for the quarterback. Offense getting set. It's second down. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Hand off to the back. They stop him, but it's a first down. Well, good push up front here in this back. I tell you, he's got some outstanding vision to be able to find those creases, to be able to get positive yards, and here he gets the first down. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? They'll run it here. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Your first down loss. It's second and long from the 23. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Now, wasn't alert enough, didn't get the playoff. That'll cost him five yards. Quarterback lost track of the play clock, and it cost the offense five. Here's the second down play. The shotgun running play call, fighting him off. They bring him down, that's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through it. So Paul with the 30, this is a manageable third down play for the offense. And they'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Things just appeared to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. The Utes will line up to boot it away. And the returner decides to single fair catch. And the Arizona State offense comes back on the field. They settled for a field goal last time. Let's see what they can come up with on this possession. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Testing the right side here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Talk about quickness. That play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defender, but that play is blown up right at the snap. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Running back grabs it on a screen. That play is blown up. Defense makes the tackle in the backfield. Good job here by the defense on third down. 
Forget about throwing downfield. They go short, and they make them pay for it with a loss of yardage. The Sun Devils will line up to punt it away. And it's fair caught right about the 45-yard line. And the Utah offense takes the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. They tackle him, but the game moves the ball to the 36. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. We'll hand it off. The pickup is seven yards, now it's second and three. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Dropping back. It's rising. And the quarterback finds the tight end for the completion. Oh, the defense has him behind the line of tackle for loss, and that'll do it for the third quarter. First play of the quarter is a crucial one. Offense trying to convert this third down. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. There's a wide open receiver complete. They stop him at the four, but it sets up this offense with a first and goal. For this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. For the offense, a chance to extend the lead, but more importantly, milk the clock here late in the game. Grab behind the line, it's Keefe. Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down up play. You know, what separates good defenses from great defenses is you're going to give up some catches. But what do you do after the offense makes the reception? Are you giving up much space? Are you giving up yards after the catch? Here, just a really good job by this defense. Yeah, they gave up a reception, but right there to make a nice tackle for a loss. They'll try to power it in right up the middle. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Urgency here. Got to cut in this lead. It's third down and goal. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Interesting call here, Chris, to throw the ball on third and short. Unable to come up with the first down. Now here at fourth down, you got a big decision to make. Do you kick the field goal just to add to the lead? Or maybe go for this here with a chance to drop the hammer? So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. This try is no good. And the lead remains at seven after the miss. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. Poor kicker. And the Arizona State offense comes back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Second down after that previous play. Play action fake, looking to throw. He pulls it in for a big game. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. We saw this receiver in the first half have a number of inward breaking routes, and now in the second half, we're seeing more stuff going to the outside. Good adjustment by this offensive coordinator. And the Sun Devils will crank up the tempo.
Here comes a first down pass attempt. Catch made along the sideline, but he's short of the sticks. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Chris, it's so much fun to watch the athleticism at the wide receiver position nowadays. The ability to make plays on the outside is extraordinary. And they bring a certain toughness, too, that catches my eye. Off play action, he's looking to throw. That one sails incomplete through too far. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game, you need points, you're behind, you gotta take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. After the incompletion, they'll come to the line for a third and four. Let's it fly to the wideout. He's got it for a big game. Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. This could be a dramatic finish. Marching toward a tying touchdown. It's first and ten. Looking for some space. It's Scatabo. Now it's second down here. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. And they heave it deep downfield. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. Now it's third down. You know, if I'm the offensive coordinator, I would keep looking to throw the ball downfield. These receivers are too talented, and this quarterback has an ability to get into a rhythm. And eventually, you're going to hit some big plays. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Tackle made after a big game. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. And the Sun Devils come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Ball handed to the running back. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Important second down play coming up. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Defense stops him short of the marker, so now it's fourth down. The Sun Devils will look to convert here on fourth down. Trying for a fourth down completion. Receiver makes the catch. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Boy, a risky decision here to go for it inside the red zone on fourth down, and you come up with a first down. I love that aggressive approach. Let's see if they can come up with a touchdown here to finish off this drive. Big opportunity for the offense to tie this game up in the fourth quarter. It's first and goal. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Arizona State. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. They're setting out to try the PAT. The 
And FPAT gives us a tie ball game here in the final quarter. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen. That's good coverage there. And the Utes offense takes the field. Keeping it on the ground here. Brought down, but broke a tackle to produce a solid game there. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. Second down play coming up for this offense. To the air. It's rising. Throws to the tight end. And he's got his man open downfield. Stop right near midfield. It'll be a first down. Game of 22. First down for the offense. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. And now the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Getting set. Here's second down. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Grab down the middle. It's Parks. And they bring him down. That's a very solid gain, but still well short of the mark. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there. The timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. Kibi decides to keep it here. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. The Utes will bring their punt team onto the field. And they'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And the kick angles out of bounds, so no return possible here. And back comes the Arizona State offense onto the field. Let's see if they can keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient and precise. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down after that run on the previous play. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. It's a quick grab. Tackle made after a solid game. He'll spot the ball for 31. Some really good timing here between the quarterback and the receiver. And how about the receiver downfield? Does a nice job of finding that open space in the zone of the defense. And as a defense, you're just basically throwing your hands up in the air because they had that covered relatively well. Just a good play call and good execution. The gain is four, so it's second and six. He shreds the tackle. And they'll force him out of bounds after a short run. Here we go. Crucial play coming up. It's third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. The offense gets the football back. Very lucky. Still have a chance now. Timeout called by the defense, their first of the half, as they try to make some adjustments here. The Sun Devils will have to kick this away. And here's the fair catch by the return man. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? 
Dropping back. It's rising. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. Incomplete. Second down coming out. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Caught over the middle. It's Parks. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. The key on a drag route is to put the ball out in front of the wide receiver to give him a chance to do what he just did. Pick up some valuable yards after the catch. They move the six. They'll hurry to the line here on first down now. And the quarterback dropping back. He'll take a deep shot. The veteran quarterback, lucky that didn't result in a takeaway. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break, but that ball's not intercepted. So, second down after the incompletion. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Oh, it's intercepted. A critical late mistake here. And he's got some open field ahead. Touchdown, ASU. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. What a play here by the defense. We kept thinking this defense might have to come up with a stop to give the ball back to their own offense to see if they can maybe take the lead. But instead, they take matters into their own hands and come up with a turnover and a touchdown. And they get set now to try the PAT. PAT is up and good. The lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. The kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Utah offense takes the field. Here we go. They need a touchdown. They got some time to work with here. But they got to be precise and manage the clock wisely. Throws incomplete. Broken up by the defender nicely that time. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump. And that defender is able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Dropping back. It's rising. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management's going to be very important here in the final minutes. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Tries the right with a quick throw. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. The offense spikes the ball here, looking to preserve as much clock as they can. Second down play coming up. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Looks to the left, pass caught. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver. That primary target forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards, but anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure victory. They're going to throw for it on third and short. Grab down the middle. It's Pittman. And they stop the clock with a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. 
They continue to march toward a game tying touchdown. It's first and ten. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Heavy pressure. He lets it go. Able to get the pass away, but took a hit that time. It's now time for one final play that obviously has to go into the end zone to see if they can tie it up. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Looking to throw. It's rising. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's incomplete. They come up empty in the end zone. The defense holds to wrap up the victory.